When I sleep, my affected side hip pops. I think because I haven't moved it. What do you think and how can I try to stop it? I've actually done a video on popping hip. It is actually very common. In most cases, what's happening is if you're a side sleeper, it's just a tendon rolling over your large hip bone on the side. It happens when you have a stroke. If your weak side is up, so if you're someone that sleeps on your strong side, when you roll onto your strong side, a lot of times you will hear like a pop or a clunk. It's almost like a clunk a lot of times. And that in most cases, if you haven't fallen, if you've fallen recently, then definitely you want to get an x-ray. But if you haven't fallen and you haven't had a total hip replacement, the answer with the highest probability is probably that it's just a tendon rolling over your large hip bone on the side. So that is an indication that those muscles on the outside of your hip might be weak. So hip abduction, work those hip abductors, especially if it's not painful. If it's painful, there might be some bursitis there, but if it's just a clunk or a pop, and even if it was a little bit of bursitis, like you'd still want to strengthen it a little bit or put a pillow in between your knees so that your knees can't, your legs can't come together, that will help if there's pain, but you still want to strengthen those abductors. So the muscles that are on the outside of the hip that move that leg out to the side. If you liked that video and you want to learn more exercises on how to improve your walking, definitely check out this video over here or that video over there. If you want even more help, check out our gold membership program where you'll get access to over 300 exercises that are not here on YouTube, as well as access to our monthly lives where you can get your questions answered.